It's been two years since the pandemic saw a boom in pet ownership but now Sydney Rescue Shelters say wait lists to surrender pets are as long as eight months long. Dog ownership in Australia rose 47% between 2019 and 2021, spiking from 5. 1 million pet dogs to 6.3 million by the end of the pandemic. According to Animal Medicines Australia Pets and the Pandemic Report, cat ownership equally spiked from 3. 7 million to 4.9 million over the same period. Read more, NSW Records' first local transmission of monkeypox since Animal Welfare League CEO Stephen Albine said they have seen a significant surge in discarded pets since the beginning of the pandemic. Waiting lists are at 8 months to surrender a dog, he said. We've seen an increase of about 34% over the last few years of animals under our care. At the moment, and I think every shelter is the same, we're experiencing a pretty significant surge in surrenders. Read more, almost 1 in 5 Aussies have had a purchase declined at the checkout, survey suggests but RSPCA and SW said their shelters across the state are experiencing less demand than those in other states. Surrender rates at RSPCA and SW have continued to remain steady, and we are not experiencing an influx, like other states, a spokesperson said. RSPCA NSW said 2021 data compared to 2022 data for the month of June highlights a decrease in surrenders, from 4,861 to 4,248 dogs surrendered. Cumberland City Council and Sydney's West said their shelters have experienced a 10% growth in companion animal surrenders, put down to a number of reasons. Animals are surrendered for a number of reasons including financial reasons, changes in family circumstances and not being able to care for animals, a council spokesperson told Nine News. Com.au. Explained, tomato flu, what you need to know Albin believes the main reason for giving up a pet comes down to cost of living and rental pressures. You've got issues with regards to where people move and live and the ability of pets to go with him, said Albin. A shortage of rental properties means landlords can be more selective with their tenant choice and that more animal owners are giving up their pets in search of a place to live. The overall impact or the overall effect that owning an animal has and the responsibilities that people have when when they take ownership of a pet, he said. Read more, Australia's wet weather nightmare not over all being said that while there has been an increase in adoptions this year. There is still a 24% gap between animals coming in and animals going out of rescue homes. We have had an uplift in adoptions, but it's only about a 10% increase in adoptions. So there is still a pretty significant gap there which is causing demand issues, having an excess of demand for our shelter, and I believe many others. Read more, Woolworths drops prices on more than 400 products amid cost of living crisis, 